Hey guys, so Victoria, oh, oh. October has officially started. Um, I am intending to vlog my reading for the month. I am only going to do two separate vlogs. So basically one for the first two weeks, one for the second two weeks, and then there's actually technically another week or almost a full week at the end of the month. However, I'm going to just not vlog those last few days and you'll just find out whatever I read during those days in my wrap up. I have officially started The Woman in White and oh my gosh, I'm loving it. I actually started it a few days early because I finished Northanger Abbey with a few days left in September and I knew I there was it was homecoming week first of all for my school and so I knew I would be busy with that plus I had some it was kind of like the first month the school is over so all the tests and essays and everything are all within those couple of weeks once you hit that point you know and so plus we're getting really close to midterms so i'm sure i'm going to have even more soon but i since i reached that point i knew that i was not going to finish a book but i also knew that if i let too many days lapse without reading or starting something new, I would enter a real bad reading slump. I was in a reading slump reading Northanger Abbey because I wasn't reading it as much as I should have, as consistently as I should have, and it was causing me to go into a reading slump. So I didn't want that to happen, especially not right when Victober was star starting. So I started The Woman in White, read the first 30 pages in those few days, which isn't a ton, so you know. Um, but I already really, really like it. I think the writing is really accessible, easy to understand, um, and I'm just really excited. I'm so intrigued by everything. The action starts really fast, which I appreciate about serialized novels, is the action gets going and remains fairly consistent. You know, they had to keep their readers engaged since it was only coming out in pieces. So, anyway, I'm so pumped to read this. I would like to try to, I think it would be awesome if I could finish it by the end of this week. Will I be able to? <laughs> we'll see, I again, I am still in school, but I really would like to try. Um, I may even try to get through the first epic. There's three epics, so the first epic ends page 155. So if I can read like 150 pages, a little less than that since I've already started it, tonight that would be so cool but that's still like a lot and the pages are long and have teeny tiny writing <laughs> so I don't know if that's going to be possible especially because tomorrow I have to get up a little earlier for a class so I'll want to get to bed at a decent time it's only 5 30 right now however I'm really tired and I just actually read a chapter of the woman in white before filming this and I realized I just can't focus right now I just need to like have a little bit of a lie down and just watch something close my eyes and just do that so <laughs> I'm going to um do that and then um I'm sure that will I just laying for like an hour or two with my eyes closed just watching something or listening to something while my eyes are closed um really helps gets my get my energy back up so um I'm not really a nap taker but at least doing that is really good for me so I'm sure I'll be able to get the energy up to read it plus I just read better at night like I'm more for some reason I think it's a psychological thing like nighttime is the time to read so it's a lot easier for me to focus at night and to want to read at night so I'm planning to watch like a true crime documentary that's kind of been my thing recently which is good for sorry I keep moving the camera I just am like holding it on a book and it's kind of awkward but anyway <laughs> um I'm I've been really into true crime documentaries so I'm going to be watching one of those and then hopefully get into the woman in white hi friends don't mind my cute little bun and being ready for bed because i am ready for bed it is the third of october so thursday and i wanted to give you guys a quick update i unfortunately have not read as much as i should have because um i just like talking to my roommates too much so <laughs> i keep um planning to read at night um, for a few hours and then I just get in discussions with my roommates and end up not reading very much I read I've been trying to at least read a little bit every day But it's been very minimal, but today I got 
through a lot more than I have and I am about 100 pages into The Woman in White now, still really, really enjoying it. I have no idea where this book is going, um, but not in a bad way, not in like a, like, okay, what's the point of this way? It's more like in a very mysterious, it's a very plot-driven book, being a mystery slash psychological thriller type story, and it's just been so good so far. I feel like and I'm especially at this point where I don't know what's going to happen just because everything I was predicting has already, like, been discussed to some extent. And so I'm like, okay, but I still have, like, 400 pages left. So what's going to happen in this book? I don't know. I have no idea. But it's super good. Really enjoying it. Definitely a good place to start for Victober because it's a very action-packed, plot-driven type book. That really drew me in, very easily understood re writing style, which I appreciate. And yeah, it's been great. I also wanted to let you guys know I did start an audiobook today. Um, it is not technically a Victorian novel or anything like that, but it is a nonfiction book um, called We Too by... Oh, I forgot. I will put a picture of it on the screen just so you can see it and know who the author is because I can't remember right now. It is basically about Vic Queen Victoria and Prince Albert and their marriage, their relationship, um, which obviously connects very well to the Victorian time period as it that time period is completely centered on Vic Queen Victoria's reign um, and a lot of what she did, especially with her marriage, was kind of like idealized by the public even though it wasn't as perfect as it seemed, but it's just really interesting. It's one I've wanted to read recently. Um, I've just wanted to learn more about Queen Victoria as a person and especially her relationship. Sorry, shifting my hands, but especially her relationship with Prince Albert. I find it really fascinating. I've been watching Victoria on BBC, really enjoying it. So it's just about 10 o'clock. I do have an earlier class tomorrow, so I probably will want to try to be like, laying down trying to go to sleep by like 11 um so I really only have like an hour left to read this um before I gotta get to bed but in the meantime I've been to add some ambiance I'm going to show you really quick so I've been watching this I really like to read to like these ASMR room things usually I do the Harry Potter ones um, like that, which apparently I'll probably be doing next because I don't want to keep doing this, but um, I've been doing a Victorian London setting that's kind of dark and creepy and foggy, which, oh, whoops, <laughs> um, anyway, which has been really perfect for, let me just show you it, which has been really perfect for um, the woman in white and the creepiness there, so it's been real fun. I think I want to find one that has like a crackling fireplace because I feel like that feels very very Victorian even if it's not quite a Victorian setting. So anyway, it's been good. So anyway, there's that and now I'm just gonna get back to reading. Hey guys, so it is Tuesday the 9th, I believe. No, it's the 8th. Tuesday the 8th of October, um, and I haven't updated for a while because I still haven't finished a book. <laughs> um, but I thought, since it's been a while, and I was thinking about splitting this into two separate vlogs, um, I wanted to try to at least get a little bit more footage this month, this week. So, um, some reading update to start with. Um, I did finally get past the halfway point in The Woman in White, yesterday um so i am on page almost 300 i think yeah 288 getting there slowly but surely um i'm really really enjoying it still i just well first of all as i've mentioned before i am still in school so i've been busy with homework i did also just start a job for the semester it's just like a ta job so it's not that many hours a week um but you know every dollar counts <laughs> so plus when I have free time, I just, I've mentioned this before as well, I just can't help but talk to my roommates. And once we get started talking to each other, it's like hours later and then I look at the time and I'm like, wow, it's almost midnight. I have school tomorrow. Let's go to bed. So anyway, but the past few days I've been doing a lot better at taking time to read, um, which has been good. I should be able to, my goal is to finish this by Friday so that this weekend and into next week I can start Wuthering Heights. 
Um, I am still listening to the We Too audiobook. That has been really, really good. I just love learning about Victoria and Albert. I think they're such a fascinating couple, um, just because they're both so headstrong and um, very stubborn. And so it makes for very interesting material <laughs> to read about. Um, but they still, like, genuinely seemed to have cared for each other. Um, so anyway, very interesting, really enjoying that. It's been a good Victober, honestly. Like, I've loved watching all the videos people have put up. I have a couple ideas for Victober videos, um, but I also wanted to start off with, like, a Halloween Reads recommendations video. Um, but we'll see if I do that because I was gonna film that today and I just wasn't in the mood. So, anyway, here we are, and anyway, also, this is super random, but I've been so in the mood for Christmas, which is so sad because it's Halloween, <laughs> but I'm like so excited for Christmas all of a sudden, and, um, but I also am really loving all the fall and Halloween decor that I'm seeing in stores and stuff, so it's kind of a weird mood I've been in, like, I'm just excited for the holiday season, I think, to be honest. I just... I love this time of year so much. It's like definitely a time of year like I'm not the type to want it all the time because then it would get boring. But like when it does come around, it's so fun and I just love it. Um, before I go, I did want to share a few more specific thoughts about The Woman in White so far. Um, I'm really, like I said, I'm really, really enjoying it and I've really gotten to a part where a lot is going on and I'm really stressed and there's like moments where I have to take a step away <laughs> because it's stressing me out so bad. It's just so good and there's a character that just terrifies me count fosco if you've read it is terrifying to me and i just because i feel like cuz there's kind of two bad guys that are being discussed and it's um sir percival and count fosco and i feel like sir percival is very openly antagonistic and so you i feel like i understand what he's doing a little better, but Count Fosco, I have no idea what his motivations are. I just am so confused, and he just seems to have this influence over everybody, and he's just so terrifying. I'm so afraid of him. Anyway, I also really, really like Miss Holcomb. She kind of reminds me of Jo from Little Women, just in the idea of like how she compares herself to men. Um, as opposed to the stereotypes of women, she feels like she follows more the stereotypes of man. And Joe is very similar in that way. <laughs> um, anyway, so that's been kind of cool. And then um, I really hate, um, I don't even remember his name, Mr. Fairley, um, the main girl's uncle that takes care of her is so annoying and I just want to punch him in the face and I feel like by the end of this I'm gonna want to punch him in the face even more. I'm excited to see how it ends up in the next couple hundred pages that I have left so hopefully I can finish that like I said on, fr on Friday. Okay sorry about the crapper lighting that is my room but I went to the bookstore yesterday. Today is Sunday the oh gosh what day is it? The 13th and um, I went to the bookstore yesterday nearby, and so I ended up pick picking up my first Anthony Trollope book. I have not read any Anthony Trollope, and I saw this, and I know it's a, it's been, I've been told that it's a good place to start with Anthony Trollope. Um, so I picked it up. It's actually been in that bookstore forever, and I just didn't know enough about it to grab it, but this time I just decided to. It's a little bit warped. Like, it was a used bookstore, so I knew it wasn't gonna be, any books I got there wasn't gonna, weren't gonna be perfect, but it's a little strange honestly like how it's warped it's like you can't really see it but basically like in the middle it's like pinched and then this side like goes up and is warped and then this side goes up as well not as much this goes up more but it's kind of weird anyway but it's fine I'm excited to pick it up and I really like um the Oxford World's classics so Anyway, super excited about that. And then since I just read Northanger Abbey month, last month, I saw this in the bookstore, and uh, The Mysteries of Udolpho by Anne Radcliffe, which, um, if you don't know, um, the main character in Northanger Abbey reads this and really loves it. Um, it's actually a lot longer than I thought it would be. For some reason, I thought it was a much shorter book than it is. But I kind of am hoping that this has in it what I wanted Northanger Abbey to have in it. 
Um, if you watched my September wrap-up, you'll know that I was a little disappointed in Northanger Abbey. I still absolutely loved it. It was great, and Jane Austen's just amazing, but I just was disappointed. Um, I expected a little bit more from it, so I think this might give me more of that, although I wish I could combine them. I kind of hoped Northanger Abbey would be, like, making fun of reading um, gothic novels and stuff like that, but still, like, have a lot more gothic elements, um, but it didn't, so I hope this has a little bit more of that whenever I read it. Probably won't be for a long time, but at least I have it now if I'm ever in the mood for that. And yeah, so those are the books I got. I also went with my roommates, and I know a couple of them got some books, so I might show what they got later just because why not, but I might not because it's the next day so it feels a little weird, but maybe since I did this clip it will feel less weird. I don't know. We'll see. Hey guys, so I'm about to go into a meeting with my advisor, but I had a little bit of time to sort of close out this vlog. Um, I have been wanting to do two vlogs for the month and stop this one halfway. It's the 15th, so it's time to stop it and get it posted. Hopefully today because I don't have any other videos to post this week. Um, anyway, yeah, I've been struggling a little bit finding motivation to film. I also am nervous somebody's gonna walk past, which they probably will because I'm like right in a horrible spot of the parking lot. But anyway, we'll just keep going. Sorry, I keep saying anyway. <laughs> um, so I am almost done with The Woman in White. Still really enjoying it. Finally getting some answers, which I'm really pumped about. Um, I literally only have like 80 pages left, so I should be able to finish it. If not today, then hopefully tomorrow night. I also decided with my roommates, um, one of my roommates when we went to the bookstore the other day got Wuthering Heights, and since I wanted to read that, me and her and then one of our other roommates decided to buddy read it, so we're gonna start that after fall break, which means we probably won't finish it by the end of the month, but at least we'll start it. It'll be good. There's construction going on, so sorry about that scary, ominous, like, booming. <laughs> anyway, but um, then also I think after I've decided on how I'm going to organize the rest of my reading month, I'm going to, once I finish listening to We Too about Victoria and Albert, I'm going to listen to Oliver Twist, because I've, I've heard Charles Dickens is really good to listen to his stuff, and so I'm planning to listen to Oliver Twist, and then after I finish reading The Woman in White, I'm going to start uh, reading a Thomas Hardy book, probably Two on a Tower is what I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up picking up. So that should be good, um, and then that will probably finish out the month for me again. I'm like, I don't feel too bad about taking forever to read because I am at school. Um, it's a good thing I'm getting along with my roommates because last year I got along with my roommates, but they were a little more in their own lives, and so um, it was a little bit hard last year. Um, not horrible. There was one roommate that I actually am still roommates with that we got along really well and I did things with, um, but it's been nice to have more than just the one to talk to and everything and do stuff with. Anyway, I'm going to close this vlog out here. Sorry, I keep thinking I see people. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to close this vlog out here. There's a person. I'm gonna stop for a second. Sorry. Okay, seriously, the life of an introverted booktuber. Anyway, yes, I'm gonna close the vlog out here. And I'm sorry it was such a boring vlog. It was so boring, I know. <laughs> but um, next vlog will be a lot better I'm sure because I will be um going home for fall break and it will be Halloween stuff and I'll have more books I'm writing so oh gosh there was another person anyway thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time bye